So all I have to do is add all the sources of my information. So I want this website here, paste the link, insert it as a source. I want to add another website, another source, go to the notebook guide. You simply have to click on generate in order to create a podcast on Roman military and how they used to train. All right, so get ready. We are diving deep into ancient Rome today. Ooh, exciting. You must have heard about Google's Notebook LM already. It has recently got a lot of traction because of their latest podcast generation feature. But Notebook LM is so much more. If you are someone who deals with a lot of information sources, text, slides, reports, textbooks, or even YouTube videos, then wouldn't it be nice if you could have access to experts on your source of information and if they could answer any questions that you have based on the material that you have provided. Well, that's what Notebook LM is. It's not just another RAG application. So as soon as you upload your sources, it instantly becomes an expert on your documents and can answer all the questions that you have. So it can quickly summarize complex documents. It can answer specific questions about them and even transform all of those documents into briefings or study guides or podcasts. So at this point, I think everyone has copied text into ChatGPT and asked it to summarize it. But you must have noticed that as soon as the chat becomes long or if the text is, you know, too much, the model starts drifting from the documents that you have uploaded. So now, if I want the summary or the ideas or any other questions to be grounded in the source that I have provided, that's where all of these applications that are already out there, they struggle. And that's what distinguishes Notebook LM from all the other LLM based assistants out there. So what is Notebook LM? It's an experimental AI first notebook developed by Google. And it uses the documents to train a specialized AI. So many people have advertised Notebook LM as another AI first note taking app, but that doesn't do justice to it. Notebook LM is not just like sprinkling some AI features on top of a note taking app. It is built from the ground up with AI at its core, which can help you, you know, understand your information and connect different ideas that are spread across varied sources that you have uploaded. To get started with Notebook LM, head over to the URL notebooklm.google. You can go through this page that they have, click on try Notebook LM. The interface opens up. This is where you can start creating your notebooks. Click on create. There are five different options to upload documents. You can upload files from your computer in PDF.txt markdown formats, or you can link directly to a website using its URL. You can copy paste text directly into the notebook, or you can link to a Google doc or a Google slide. Besides that, if you want to use a YouTube video as your source of information, that option is also provided here. There are a few limitations that you have to keep in mind. As of now, you can only upload a maximum of 50 files where each file should not contain more than 500,000 words. And uh, its main use is for text documents. So it won't work as well on Excel uh, files or .csv files. Larger documents may take more time to process. So if you have, let's say a dozen of files, then you might want to prioritize a few of them that has key information that you want to extract. So let's explore what all features we have. I'm going to choose the attention paper here. So I'm going to upload it from my machine. I have this research paper on attention is all you need. So I'm going to upload this research paper here. And as soon as I upload, you would see that system has started processing this document and a notebook guide has opened up here. This notebook guide contains First of all, an automatically generated summary of uh, all the uploaded documents. Here I have only one. So the summary contains everything 
that has been described within this paper. Along with that, there are some suggested questions, as you can see, that you may want to ask that are tailored to the document that I have uploaded. At the top, I have a few buttons to create a few standard summary documents, table of contents, briefing doc, timeline, study guides. And at the top right, we have the audio overview, which has gotten a lot of traction. So this is going to generate a podcast with two hosts and currently it only supports English language. So if you click on generate, it'll create a podcast based on the documents that you have provided where two hosts are going to be discussing everything that is present in your documents. Now, if you have uploaded documents, you would also want to ask questions. And there are a couple of ways you can ask questions on Notebook LM. The first method, as we have discussed, if you open up Notebook Guide, there are some suggested questions. You can click on either one of them and it'll start generating a response for you. Another method is to start typing yourself. So if I say, what are the key ideas discussed in the paper? So I can directly start chatting here with the paper as well. Attention is all you need introduces a novel network architecture called the transformer, which relies solely attention mechanism to process generate sequence of data. When you get a response from notebook LM, it also gives you citations that tells you where this answer is coming from, how they have generated this answer. What are they referencing from the original source? So if I click on this three over here, if you hover over it, it opens up the citation, the document, the snippet in this tooltip. And if you click on it, there's a panel that opens up on the left hand side, which highlights the snippet based on which the answer has been generated. If you click on any other citation, it'll take you to that snippet from there. Once the response has been generated, you can copy it, you can upload, download, or you can save it in your notes. So they have this pin button here, pin message to a note. So if you click on this, a note has been created in your main screen. So this is the main screen where everything is going to get captured. If you look at this, this is the new save note. If you want to change the title, so you can say key ideas here and you'll have all the responses saved in this way. If you want to create, add a note yourself, if you want to write something yourself, you can do that as well to capture all your thoughts, everything related to this source of information. So that is your written note. The suggested questions are also very interesting. One very interesting question that I saw here is, what are the limitations of recurrent neural networks in sequence modeling and how does the transformer overcome them? Once you click on the question, it goes straight into the chat. The LLM will start generating a response based on the documents that you have uploaded. So here you go. The response is generated and you would see that it also gives you subsequent follow-up questions. So what is the primary novel contribution? This was another suggested question here. How does the transformer handle the issue of sequential computation in recurrent models? So all of these things have been captured here, which makes it easy for you to learn grok concepts, you know, prepare for interviews, all of those things. So if you click on this, it'll start giving you answers based on the documents that you have. Now let's explore other features that we have in the notebook guide here. So I'll quickly rename the notebook. So let's say attention paper. Okay. Go to try notebook LM again. I'll create a new notebook from here. And this time around, I want to upload some financial reports. So I want to understand and study HDFC bank, which is an Indian bank. And uh, I have downloaded the reports from their website, 2022, 23 and 24. So these are financial reports, yearly reports. I have uploaded three PDF documents. And as soon as these are going to get uploaded, the notebook guide would open up. So in the meantime, let's quickly rename this. So HDFC bank FY analysis. We have the summary here. 
So one source was uploading. That's why it captured the first two and gave us the summary from the first two sources. The two sources provide information from the HDFC Bank's annual reports for the fiscal years 2022 and 23. Okay, then there's uh, suggested questions. So what are the most significant financial and operational performance metric for HDFC Bank? Deep dive the conversation to create the podcast. Now there are a bunch of things here. So these are basically some templated features or you can say ways to consume the content. Let's say I want to capture table of contents from here. If I click on it, a new note will be created on my main screen and the table of contents from all of these three sources will get captured over here. Let's see what the results look like. The table of content is ready. You can look at this complete note here. So SGFC Bank Sustainability financial year from 2022 to 2024, a detailed table of contents. So corporate overview, social initiatives, financial performance and risk management. So all the details have been captured as a note for me. If you want to change this, so let's say TOC and other things that we have is a study guide. Here, a study guide would not make much sense, but for our research paper, this would make sense. So open up notebook guide, create a study guide, and this will again create a dedicated note for our study guide. Now study guide is basically going to give you a lot of questions that you should prepare for based on the source of information that you provided. So it's going to give us questions that you should be able to answer based on the attention paper. So here you can see transformer architecture and attention mechanism, a study guide, short answer questions. So it has given you a bunch of questions that you should prepare for. So this is going to be a great feature if you are preparing for interviews and if you want to just uh, grok really deeply understand the paper and you want to be able to answer all the questions. So glossary of key terms, all of those things have been provided. So these are kind of like flashcards that you can use then i have faq you can generate frequently asked questions and a timeline let's also create a timeline so here i have the timeline timeline is based on the provided excerpts and may not represent complete picture of all the events so 2022 2023 2024 hdfc bank cast of characters people entities okay this is fine. Then we have FAQ about HDFC Bank. What is HDFC Bank's approach to raising funds? So there are a bunch of FAQs that they have compiled for us. If you want a briefing document to be created from these reports, you can do that as well. So you now have understood that all the features that uh, they have showcased in the notebook guide, all of them would create a dedicated note for you. Now, if you want to interact with each of these notes, you have to select the one that you are interested in, and then you can either click on one of these based on what you want, or you can simply start typing questions. So I've selected the note on FAQ. I could just simply say, give me summary of all FAQs. And now it'll, capture all the information from that node and give me the summary of all the FAQs here. There you go. So here's a summary of the FAQs found in the source. So all of those details have been captured here. If you further want to save it as a note, you can click here. This will also get saved as a note. All right, great. Now the only feature that we have not explored is the most popular feature, which is the podcast generation feature. Let's look at that as well. So if you want to create a podcast on how, let's say, Roman military used to train during that time. So first thing is that you would do your research. While researching, you would collect a lot of documents, websites, books, some YouTube videos. And based on your research, you would want to create a well-informed podcast. Okay, a deep dive. So let's create a new note, first of all add a new note. Now I have selected a bunch of links here. So this is the first link, Roman Empire. I'll click on website, link, add the link here, insert. This is going to be the first document. I want to add further resources. So 
click on website i'll add the link to the second source this is going to be my second source add another website this is the third website that i want to add in my sources okay and on top of this i listened to this podcast from lex friedman that i wanted to add here so this podcast is uh, gregory alred the roman empire rise and fall of ancient rome so now i'll add this youtube video as well as a source upload this all the sources have been added into my notebook now the only thing that we have to do is click on generate now at this point this feature does not allow us to prompt how the podcast should be generated or interrupt the process so simply click on generate and this will start creating a podcast based on the sources that you have provided so this is going to take some time so they have already mentioned this may take a few minutes no need to stick around so you can do a lot of other stuff now as of now you can only create only one type of uh, podcast which is the deep dive conversation and uh, you'll have two hosts which will discuss your documents the podcast length is uh, not something that you can tweak most of the times i've gotten uh you know somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes of podcast you cannot interrupt it you cannot provide any sort of instructions on how the podcast should be created okay so we have our podcast ready let's play this all right so get ready we are diving deep into ancient rome today ooh exciting you know i'm super grateful for this interview you found for us this interview with roman history expert gregory aldrate a good one i have to say though going through this oh, uh it's a lot it's centuries of emperors conquests inventions yeah, uh right where to even begin yeah no it's true it could feel a little bit and these voices are remarkably human and emotive and you would find the deep dives and the conversation very interesting to listen to and this feature is not just any other text to speech application or feature this is not verbal transcription of your documents so there is an upvote downvote feature and you can download the audio from here or you can share this as well so at the top right you can share this with other folks you can copy the link and you can share it share the entire notebook and you can see on the social media there are many people including andre karpati sharing that deep dive is now their favorite podcast they've shared a bunch of notebooks on programming language gold pomegranate mars So notebook lm is still an experimental product and it can make your research and your learning way more enjoyable and faster to make the most of it you have to ensure first of all that your sources are relevant they are of high quality second is provide specific instructions so if you want to learn or get something specific you have to use prompt engineering there as well it's not just for chat gpt or claude try it out with different prompts and make sure that you are reviewing the information as well because at the end of the day this is ai generating responses so you want to make sure that it is not giving you inaccurate responses all right i hope you found this useful and if you did please let me know in the comments like subscribe that's the best way you can help me and uh, let me know how you are using notebook lm what are you learning and the kind of podcasts that you are generating and i'll catch you guys in the next one until then keep learning and keep building